All right, this is really exciting new technology. This is the Yamaha hydrogen engine. So very, very excited to hear about this and what this is gonna do to the marine industry, hopefully in the next few years. How awesome would that be to be able to have a hydrogen powered engine on your boat? So just some really interesting things about this as I was reading this morning. First, you have to redesign the entire capabilities of the boat. The Yamaha worked with Roush to design a hole that would accommodate for the hydrogen tanks, as you can see here. Can't be liquid hydrogen, obviously, because liquid hydrogen has to be cooled. So they stuck the uh, tanks in the center line of the boat and this is compressed hydrogen gas, which is then squirted out through the jet that you see right there. And that powers the engine, just like a normal combustion engine. So you can see it looks like a standard poppet valve configuration. The valves, standard combustion chambers. So it maintains all the same technology that we have in the current gas-operated poppet valve engines. But it's burning hydrogen instead of gas, so that means a lot more power output and a lot more capabilities for the engine. But there are some limitations to that, as you can see at this point in time, the technology is very limited due to the fact that you have massive hydrogen tanks to power the boat so you can be out on the water and then obviously you've got to think about refueling where you're going to get compressed hydrogen gas but really amazing technology roush in partnership with yamaha to produce the hydrogen engine and this is the boat hole that they've designed to accommodate for that And there it is. This isn't just something that they're sticking here for the boat show. This is actually a working model. So very, very exciting technology. Let's see the magic. All right, this is the Mercury electric outboard. You have a battery pack, which basically fits right inside this top compartment here. And then you just hold the tiller and you turn the power on according to your hand turn, almost like a motorcycle engine. Should we? So, see. very, very cool. Now, it's not So if you have a small inflatable or dinghy or something like that, mm -hmm. and you want real ease and powering that thing, there you go, right there. And then they have from a 7.5 all the way up range, to a 335 horsepower. What? The estimate range is 40. Oh, yeah, there you go. All so right. Estimated a, range. So a bit, you know? but it's electric all electric car. control. Yep. So as you go slower, the range changes, and you can see what that's going to do to you right on the screen there. That's really neat. Really cool. And then here you can see the 7.5, the 35, and then a 20. Let's we'll look at some of the stats down here. So very lightweight for the power output. And here's a 110. Again, with the battery packs that you slide in and out. So very cool. Hi everyone, I'm here with Taiga Motors and Anik, who is the marketing director. And today we're gonna to talk about some exciting technology, which is a fully EV, as you can see, Wave Runner. 
So let's talk with Anik and really discover what we can about this new innovation in technology. Yes. So Anik, what can you tell us about this exciting craft? Yeah, this is Orca Performance. It's the latest model of 100% electric personal watercraft made by Taiga. Mm -hmm. uh, it has all of the benefits that we've come to know and love from the EV industry, meaning there's no emissions, no noise, no smell, no more gas, no mm. maintenance on the pirate train. We just yes. kept the fun of riding. Oh, that's fantastic. So what can you tell me about the performance of the craft? Yeah, so this is a sporty two-seater. It has a top speed of 62 miles an hour, and it's really made to play on the water, do some donuts, jump some waves, uh -huh. and just really have a lot of fun. So how much fun can I have on the water? How long is this going to last? And what about, tell me about the charging capabilities of yeah. this craft. So we have about two hours of continuous ride time. So okay. what we find our customers do with their craft, they go out, ride a little bit, get to a destination, do some donuts, mm. jump some waves, come back to dock and recharge. Oh, great. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the construction. Where's the battery sit and how does that impact performance? Yeah. So you can imagine that most of the weight of the craft will be driven by the batteries. Mm -hmm. So they sit well at the bottom of the hull and below your rider. Okay. So what that means is that most of the weight is below the water line, yes. which makes for a very stable craft. So uh -huh. even if you're carving really aggressively, as uh -huh. soon as you release the throttle, it'll come back to its standing position. Okay. Right. So a very low center of gravity is going to help performance. If I got small kids on here, they're not going to fall all over. We're going to have a great time and enjoy it. So what about charging? So what's really fun about our vehicles is that you can charge into pretty much anything as long as there is current. Okay. Your first option is level one, which is your regular 110 wall plug okay. and that takes an overnight charge. Okay. Uh, your second option is your level two charger that's a 220 volt and that takes about three hours for a full charge. So you can either share the charger that you have with your electric car or even better, if you have direct water access, you can have a charger installed at your dock. It is perfectly safe. Uh, the last option is level three charging, DC fast charge, which is available on public charging infrastructure. And that's 40 minutes to 80% state charge. That's awesome. Um, so what can you tell us about the number of models that are going to be produced? Do you have a variety of models that are coming out? And approximately, where's that price point for our interested consumers? Yeah, so we have two models that are currently available for purchase. We have Orca Performance, which is our mid-range model. It retails at 19,500 USD and it's okay. available now. Okay. It's available in this color combination of white and black. Okay. The other model we have is Orca Carbon, which you can see on the other side of our booth. This one is our limited edition top of the range model, retails at 26,500. Okay. It's available in seven colors of body, three colors of seat, and it comes with DC fast charge already enabled. All right, well, this is exciting technology. I would love to take it out, but we are here at the boat show, so we can't get on the lake today. But if our customers want to follow up with you, where can they go and look at uh, your website, get more information? Absolutely. So go to tagamotors.com. You'll have all of the specs and information on our vehicles, and we can organize a test ride for you if you're interested. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we're excited about this technology and looking forward to seeing it on the water. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Bye bye. Okay, we are finishing up our time here at the Miami Boat Show. It's been an amazing day. We saw a lot of amazing boats. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me what do you like or what did you see? Because your expectation was something when we start. So yes. now that you enjoy and you see everything, how do you feel about that? Well, I would definitely say the Miami Boat Show is something that you need to experience. There is practically everything here for everybody every manufacturer, every conceivable engine technology, and people bringing new things to the show to show their innovation. I think one of the coolest things I saw today was the hydrogen engine from Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat technology. I don't think it's feasible yet, but just the fact that that's even being discussed is amazing. And I think maybe someday we'll be able to ride on the water and the water is the actual fuel for the boat at the same time. How spectacular mm -hmm. would that be? unlimited range and enjoyment so and a lot of money safe and gas isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget especially about at four dollars <laughs> five dollars a gallon maybe even six or seven when you're in the bahamas so but i think today we saw some amazing boats uh definitely from boston whaler sea ray had a really strong showing and of course chris craft is always always beautiful the quality of the construction is just absolutely amazing so 
has been has was my first time like mm -hmm. being in a boat show with someone like really know a lot about boats and love both like you oh yeah because i was like okay i didn't know about this so what is this i was learning really a lot because you love both that is your passion about so mm -hmm. i used to know oh, what is this is pretty i like this but you really know all the you know what is yes. behind that and what is safe and what is better so i, I yeah I learned a lot boats you want to be on the water in and definitely in rough seas and then those boats that really should never leave a lake so it's best to know what you're buying so always do your research before you purchase a boat know exactly what your use is otherwise you're going to pay too much for features you don't need um, or if you want to go offshore and you didn't get the proper boat then you're going to be in trouble and you're going to oh, find that out really fast. Or your wife fast. is going to be scary and say no I don't feel safe I don't want to travel anymore so yes in that case if you buy a, a strong boat like for example the Boston Whaler we love that yes. is because we like to go to Bahamas different place and it's really you feel really good and safe you know, and protected safe. no matter what comes up and storms always happen so Anyway, we had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.